the Niobrara MEB2 supports a new feature called Hot Modbus Plus. This setup consists of an MEB2 bridging a Modbus Plus network to Ethernet. A Magellus HMI is pulling two PLCs through the MEB using Modbus TCP Ethernet. The Quantum is on the local Modbus Plus network while the Compact is on the far side of a Bridge Plus. The screen shows a timer value from each PLC. The Quantum PLC is connected through a NOM at node 12 using dual cabling. A Bridge Plus is located at node 23. The Compact PLC is on the far side of the Bridge Plus at node 4. The Compact is also controlling the Momentum Ethernet I.O. using an MSTR to write the data through the Bridge Plus and MEB2 to Ethernet. This MEB2 has dual Ethernet ports that support rapid spanning tree. The Connexium switch supports the copper ring topology for redundant Ethernet cabling. The Dual Cable Modbus Plus also provides a highly fault-tolerant system. Each single cable may be removed without interrupting the communication. Removing the power from the MEB, though, demonstrates that there is still a single point of failure. The Hot Modbus Plus system eliminates any single point of failure. A second MEB2 is added to the system, along with a second power supply and Ethernet switch. First we configure the original MEB2 for hot Modbus Plus operation. This is very simple through the front panel. Just initialize it to first, and wait for the unit to reconfigure itself. Notice that additional information is now displayed on the front panel screen. When the unit finishes starting, we see that it is working just as before. It is now the primary unit at the original IP address, Modbus Plus node, and routing configuration. Commissioning the second unit is just as easy. Simply initialize it for second. The MEB now tries to pull the setup from the primary. This requires port 2 from each MEB to be connected. A simple 4-wire RS-422 cable is all that is needed. The entire configuration is copied from the primary to the secondary. This takes about a minute.
The secondary unit adds 1 to the primary's IP address. It also adds 1 to the primary's Modbus Plus node. When the transfer is completed, the secondary unit reboots and assumes normal operation. The Ethernet and Modbus Plus cables may now be connected to the secondary. Modbus Plus global data is used between the pair of MEBs. This data may also be viewed by any of the PLCs on the local Modbus Plus network. The MBP STAT program may be used to take a look at the global data. First we look at the primary MEB at node 40. Five words are published by the MEB. The first word is a counter that slowly increments. The second word is the hot Modbus Plus state of this MEB. One means that it is primary. The third word is the state of the peer MEB. Two means that it is secondary. Removing the Modbus Plus cables from the secondary changes its state to eight. These state numbers are documented in the user manual. The last two words are the serial number of this MEB. Looking at node 41 shows the global data from the secondary MEB. This unit publishes the same formatted data. Unplugging the secondary's Modbus Plus cables interrupt the MBP stat comms. Configuring the Unity PLC to subscribe to the global data is simple. In this case, the data from primary node 40 is mapped to percent %MW registers 50 through 54. The secondary node 41 is mapped to registers 60 through 64. Unplugging various cables show the real-time updating of these values. Unplugging the primary unit causes Unity Pro to go offline. On reconnection, notice that the serial number of the primary unit has swapped with the secondary.
Having the state of the primary and secondary MEB in the PLC makes it very easy to signal alarms on error conditions. The green light, controlled by the top rung, means that the primary is good. The yellow light, controlled, controlled by the second rung, means that there's some problem with the secondary. And the red light, controlled by the third rung, indicates that the primary is not working. At this point, the left MEB2 is the primary. Removing the Modbus Plus cable from the secondary turns on the yellow light. Removing the Modbus Plus cable from the primary triggers a transfer. The secondary unit now becomes the primary and assumes all communications. Causes for automatic transfer include loss of Modbus Plus on the primary, loss of Ethernet link on the primary, loss of power on the primary, mismatched MEB firmware. Transfer can also be triggered via Modbus communications. The typical downtime during a transfer is about 16 seconds. The HMI may easily access the status of the Hot Modbus Plus system from the PLC's registers. Notice that the serial number of the primary changes on a transfer. It may be useful to have the PLC periodically force a transfer. A simple Modbus Plus MSTR write can make this happen. Full details are included in the user manual. The forced transfer will only happen if the primary is satisfied that the secondary is fully functional. In this demonstration, a switch on the quantum input simulator triggers the MSTR, causing a transfer.
Notice that when the cable to the secondary is removed, the transfer command is ignored. As a final example, we will modify the setup of the system by adding another PLC to the network. This quantum is located on the far side of the bridge plus at node 25. We will need to modify an entry in the Modbus routing table to access this PLC. We log into the web server of the primary MEB. Next, we open the Ethernet Modbus routing table. Now let's choose entry 25. The route needs to include the drop 23 for the bridge plus. After the entry is modified, the store to double EEPROM link will appear. Clicking this link will cause the primary to save the new configuration. The secondary will notice that the primary has changed its configuration and will take itself offline to fetch the new settings. The primary locks its configuration until the secondary is finished. This process takes about a minute, so the user is advised to finish all of the modifications before committing the settings to EEPROM. Please visit niobrara.com for more information.